So are you a content writer who is looking to accelerate and grow your freelance writing business? In which case you are definitely supposed to be using these tools that I'm going to tell you about in this video. It will help you write faster, write accurately, write plagiarism free and write content which is going to convert leads into paying clients for your clients. Okay. I am a full-time writer, a freelancer, a blogger, a YouTuber and an online business coach. I have helped several people start and grow their freelancing businesses and blogging businesses, making them their full-time career. So if you are interested in doing the same, making money online, working from home and freelancing, all you have to do is to click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. As a freelance writer, and a blogger, I write a lot in my day. And the tools that I'm going to share with you have helped me a lot. It has helped me grow faster. It has helped me write faster, write accurately and write very well. Write in a way which is understandable by my audience, write in a way which my clients love. And this is what I'm going to tell you about today. So the first tool that I'm going to be talking about is Grammarly. You have already heard about it and most probably you're already using it. But if you're not using it, I recommend you start using it. There are a lot of times when you are very confident about your English, but you still end up making small grammatical errors or small errors that you tend to uh, overlook when you are writing or when you're editing as well. And Grammarly helps there. So as a freelance writer, as a freelance blogger, you don't want to make these silly mistakes in your content because it can cost you money and it can cost you clients as well. So the first tool you should be using, there is no other option, hands down, it's not an alternative, is to use Grammarly to ensure that you're writing grammatically correct statements. The second tool I want to talk about is Hemingway. Now Hemingway is a brilliant tool. Not only does it help you understand whether or not what you're writing is too complicated or whether or not you know what you're writing is understandable but it also gives you suggestions on what to use alternatively how to cut down your statements or how to use some other words to make it easy to simplify your entire content which is extremely important as a freelance writer so hemingway is a great app you can actually start writing your entire content on hemingway itself so as in when you write you can correct your um content according to the suggestions that hemingway gives you so the third tool that you should be using as a freelance writer is Score Schedule's Headline Analyzer. Now, the headline is the first impression for your content. If, if, if it's ranking on Google or whether it's ranking on a social media platform like Pinterest, the first thing that people read is the title of your content. Now, if a title is not attractive, it does not trigger any kind of emotion or it does not trigger action, then you can write the best content in this world but nobody is going to be reading it and that's not what you want. So you want to spend some time on your headline as well and that's what Core Schedule's Headline Analyzer does for you. It helps you create a headline which is definite to get clicked. The third one, if you are a blogger, if you are using the WordPress of your client or for yourself, you can use Rank Math or Yoast. Now if you don't know how to optimize your content for search engines, then this is one of the best tools to use out there to do the basic minimum requirement on SEO. It will help you understand whether you have inserted your keywords at the right areas, if you have used your keywords, if you have used the relevant keywords at the relevant places, if you're doing it correctly, what you should be doing. It gives you a lot of suggestions and those suggestions are something that you should be following. Not to the T maybe, but you should definitely have a green on the green light for their SEO. Rank Math is similar. I don't personally use Rank Math, but I've heard brilliant stuff about it. So you can go ahead and use that as well. The next one is Evernote. Now, as a writer, a lot of times when I'm cooking or cleaning or bathing or, you know, going somewhere or taking a walk, a lot of things are running in my head. I know that I have to write on this. I have to write on that topic and all of that. And suddenly you come up with some great ideas on what you can include in these content and you have no pen and paper. So what do you do? 
you take out your phone and make a note in Evernote. Evernote is extremely simple to use. It's free of cost. All you have to do is download it on your phone and be ready to create different kind of projects. Write the title, write your notes and voila, you have all the ideas in place. The next one is Qtext or Copyscape. Now, both of these tools help you understand whether or not something has been copied off the internet or your content is plagiarized. Right. So even if you are not plagiarizing something, even if you have not done it deliberately, a lot of times it ends up happening. So a basic minimum that you can have is like 1% of plagiarized article because a lot of times you'll be using data or quotes or something from a website which you have also out, uh, you know, you have linked to. So a lot of times you have taken stuff from places to showcase any of these things like data. So that's completely fine. So that falls in the 1% of plagiarism that is acceptable. But if it is anything more than that, you want to work on that, rework that content and write it. Each piece that you write for your client or for yourself, you should run by one of these platforms to ensure that there is no plagiarism and everything is original. The last one is a content AI, content artificial intelligence called Jarvis. Now Jarvis has a free trial which you can try out. It is definitely not a tool which is free of cost. But it is a tool that you should probably look into if you want to grow your freelancing business, grow your freelance writing business and write faster and write accurately and write more in native English. Jarvis is somewhere around $29 to $110 to $119 a month. But it has the ability to create outlines for you intro posts for you uh, and write the article depending on what kind of input you give them. So you give them a line and Chavez gives you a very brilliant output around that line, around the context that you provide them. I have written more than 100 articles using Chavez in the past few months and I am in love with that tool. So if you have the budget, if you already write a lot of content and if you want to try this out, this is definitely something that I recommend to you guys. So that's about it guys. Those are the best writing tools that you can use for your freelance writing business or for your blogging or for your own writing purposes. Just to recap, I'm just going to uh, give you the name of the tools again. So you can also see that on the screen. So there is Grammarly for your grammar. Hemingway to make sure that your English is understandable and easy to comprehend. Then there is Qtext or Copyscape to ensure there is no plagiarism. There is Evernote to jot down any ideas that you're having on the go. There is Jarvis, which is a content AI tool and CoSchedule's headline analyzer to write brilliant headlines that get clicked. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I would love to know in the comment below. Let me know. Share this video, like this video and don't forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to my channel guys. You can also see a video on the screen right now on how to write articles. So please go check that out if you want to create good content for your clients and for yourself. Okay, and I'll see you next week guys. Bye-bye.